Greetings again, everybody. Welcome to our Tacos Virtual Mode here for another midweek devotion. I'm so glad that you've decided to tune in and set yourselves for the rest of your week with this devotion. Today, we are not going to get into the Bible, but we are going to talk about Christmas. So stick around to see what that's all about. So here we go. All right, friends, so you may have known something. We have entered into the season of celebrating Christmas, or as in the church, we call this the season of Advent. But before we really dive into what Advent can mean, I want to ask you a simple question that you likely have a really valid answer for. And the question is, what is your favorite Christmas movie? There are so many different Christmas movies out there, and they all have their little story about how to bring the spirit of Christmas into it. They're all over the place. Think about this. Hallmark Channel, the Hallmark Movie Channel, came out with 45 new Christmas movies for this year. So 45 plus new movies. There are plenty of Christmas movies to choose from. So I'm asking you to think about what your favorite Christmas movie is to start off today. And I want to share with you guys that my favorite Christmas movie is The Polar Express. Now friends, The Polar Express is definitely a, a story about Santa Claus and how this these kids end up going on a train all the way up to the North Pole for the night and get to experience the magic of Christmas in the North Pole. And we have in here the main character, the boy of the story in The Polar Express, going through his own little struggle of if he still believes in Santa Claus or if he still believes in the spirit of Christmas. So friends, you might be saying, wait, but how does a story about Santa Claus really get us into the Christmas spirit and the season of Advent for the church and what it means for our relationship with Jesus Christ? And I have the answer for you. So some of you likely know that as I've already stated, we are going into and we are in the season of Advent for the church, which is the season leading into Christmas. Now, some of you likely have heard over the course of the last week or in church or in church before this year, that Advent is the season of waiting. Over the course of the next four weeks at church, if you were to go to church, you would be lighting candles every day, and you would be talking about how you're waiting for the, the Christ child to be born, how this is always a season of waiting. And that is the primary message of the season. You are waiting for Jesus to be born. You are waiting for the Holy Spirit to come to this earth. And then we have the story of Jesus Christ going on, and all these great things that he does leading into Easter. So this is the season of waiting for everything to start. But I want us now to think about how Advent could be twofold in that it is the season of waiting, but it's also a season of reminding us to believe. Advent is a time for us to remember that Jesus came into this world to forgive us of our sins so that we may live free and whole and be abundantly loved by God all the time, no matter what we've done, because Jesus has already done everything for us. For us. So the entire season of Advent can be about this waiting game, but it's also a reminder for us to believe in the Christ child that is coming to earth and that we may be abundantly loved by God and be free and have a bunch of love for us and a bunch of grace always for us. And where I see this play into the Polar Express is in the movie and in the characters that we experience and how they all are going through their different battles. Think about this scene as the characters are out on the back when they meet up with Billy. We have the girl who is very strong in her faith and very much believes in the North Pole and believes in the spirit of Christmas and is waiting to see what is there for her. And then we have Billy who is going through a lot of struggles of his own. He hasn't really ever had the Christmas spirit in his life and this is giving him a chance to finally experience that. And now that brings us to the final person who is the main boy character who is going through this battle of whether or not he believes. He has, all, he has a great family and he has everything and he's had the Christmas spirit. But right now he's going through the struggle of if that spirit will live within him again in the future. And so what I think we can do with this is we can give ourselves kind of this self-audit of where we are in our faith journey and where we are in our, our, our belief of the Spirit, our belief in the fact that Jesus is coming down from heaven, sent by God, to live out as a human and become truly human and go through suffrage so that we might have forgiveness of our sins. So where do we see ourselves? Are we, are we like the girl? We're very strong in our faith. Are we like Billy who is very lost in his faith? Are we like the boy who is very confused and doesn't know what to do? 
And so I think wherever you are in your faith journey, wherever you are in your belief and your spirituality, it is totally okay to take this time to think about where that leaves you and how you can work with that and where, where to go from this. Because it's okay to be the girl. It's okay to be Billy. It's okay to be the boy. The season of Advent gives you a chance to have that self-audit to really understand where you are in your faith journey and what you can do to build yourself up in this time or what things you can work on to become better in your faith life. So that is what I want to leave you with today. We'll end with this scene here from the Polar Express of how at the end of the journey, the boy's ticket is punched to just believe. And friends, that is my reminder to you that as we leave for today, to just give yourself a chance to believe, to just give yourself a chance to understand Advent and what it means and how it can help us become better in our relationship with Jesus Christ. So that is how we're getting into the story today. Even though we haven't cracked open the Bible, we've still talked about what we can do and how we can prepare for this season of Advent. I'm so glad that you guys decided to tune in today to hear what we have to talk about. I look forward to any questions that you have for the rest of the week as we will get back into our Talk About It Friday video at the end of the week. So send in any questions that you have, and we will see you then. Have a good one, everybody.